Hey guys, so what I've noticed um, over a few YouTube videos is people doing some uh, basic quick videos of their dock. Um, so this basically is mine. I think Danny's Ace did one and um, I think Ramen did one as well. Um, so I figured why not just get a few more videos up there and also I've had, uh, well not many, two requests <laughs> um, to get this one up. So I'll start from left to right as everybody's done so far. That's obviously the finder which everybody knows about. Just to point out, this video might be a little choppy uh, because I'm using a demo application and it gives me 30 seconds every time. So I'll, I'll try and patch them all together. Um, this is Dashboard. Uh, obviously everybody knows what this does. The difference I've noticed between normal Dashboard in Tiger and the Dashboard on Leopard, it doesn't tell you it's running. So there's no actual blue, blue dot at the bottom saying it's open. Um, this is System Preference. So this is the only difference that we've got here in the other section. This is version Q for Creative Suite 3. And this is the Wacom tablet, which is a tablet you attach via USB to. Um, and you can basically control your screen with a pen um, and a mouse. Um, so that's the only difference there. So I'll go ahead and close this. This is the app. So this application I basically use to keep a track of all my friends, all business contacts and things. Um, and especially birthdays as well because I tend to forget important dates so I keep all birthdays in here. Um, this is iCal uh, which basically you keep all your dates in for whichever types of so it can be personal, work, other, birthdays etc and it also um, links up to your mail application. Um, this is all I've only just started using Entourage last week because I used to use the mail application and uh, in one day crashed on me three times meaning I'm, I lost uh, 12 emails so basically I swapped it out for Entourage and it's been perfect for me so far. Um, Safari everybody knows about Safari, uh, Firefox everybody knows about Firefox. This is one you probably don't know about which is called Pounce. So Pounce is an application similar to Twitter um, which is obviously linked to a profile on the internet where you just do micro blogs and put up what you're doing, anything on your mind and stuff. So this is um, an application powered by Adobe Air. This is uh, Microsoft Messenger, so obviously my MSN application. Skype is a free VoIP software, which is voice over IP. Um, so you can anyone else who has Skype installed, you can call them using your laptop, and I use it regularly to call home and things. Um, this is, as everyone knows, iChat, which is just another version of um, Messenger. Uh, this is iTunes, everybody's favorite MP3 playing software, video playing software. Um, this is Photoshop. This is the student edition of Photoshop CS3 because I think the the full version, um, which I think costs around £1,700, so that's a lot of money, so I got the student edition instead. Uh, it's just license differences. All of the applications you can see on here are all completely legitimate. Um, none of them have been downloaded from BitTorrents. In fact, I don't use BitTorrents at all um, because of bad experiences in the past and friends who have had bad experiences with them, and it's too expensive a machine to mess up with a BitTorrent. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is preview, obviously um, it's been slightly redesigned from Tiger, uh, a few differences, nothing much really, and it is a little faster, um, so basically just to preview any, any images you have. Um, this is iPhoto, everybody's favourite photo library, um, iPhoto 08, all these applications are the, the most recent. Um, this is iMovie 08, which a lot of people um, say isn't as good as iMovie HD. In fact, I think it's quite good for people just starting up and newcomers to the, either YouTube or making videos etc because it does make it very simple fair enough you can't do the most complex things but you can do enough to make a quick family video which is perfect for the average Joe blogs so that's good the reason I've got text edit here is basically because if I come across a URL that, that's a cool design website or it's got important information on I'll open text edit I'll paste that URL in all that block of information and I'll save it it's just a quick way of basically keeping keeping notes um, because you can use your dashboard uh, widget notes but they don't really fit much text on so I'll have this there for just for quick access if you remember I think it was around about a week and a half two weeks ago I unboxed Microsoft Word so that's this um, this is Microsoft Excel for all your spreadsheets and things and this right here is called Screenium. This is the demo. All the available links that I've got I'll provide in the sidebar as well. So if you check that out. This is my document stack. Um, so I haven't got many things in there. I use it just basically as a, as a spare section to keep things in. And it's the downloads uh, stack. So I basically don't use 
any other stacks really, I'm not that into them. Um, and this is my uh, YouTube page. I'll just load that up. So this is this is running on Firefox. I tend to use Firefox more than Safari. As you can see down the bottom, you get the miniature icon, um, depending on which application is minimized. And this is my trash. Uh, and we see it's just a rubbish bin, slightly redesigned from Tiger coming into Leopard. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. Um, and if you enjoyed watching uh, this little video and you like the latest updates from my channel, then you could consider subscribing. Um, all the links that I've referenced to today are in the sidebar. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Thanks. Bye-bye.